got something cool. You want to see what it is? Follow me. It's gotten cold again here. I got a box. I got a box. It's kind of heavy. Let me dump all of it out here on the floor for you and you can have a look at it. See if we can figure out what it is. Okay, if you probably haven't figured it out yet, it's a biologic made by Mossy Oak. Takes a battery, takes a motor. It has a big top. It has a big bin. Yep. It's a deer feeder. What do we need a deer feeder for? Well, every day, about 4 o'clock to 4.30, we go outside with a Tupperware container full of corn and we shake it all out there. Then the deer come up there and eat it. Well, it's starting to get cold. Sometimes we forget and the deer are out there waiting for us. So we got an automatic feeder. That way we can just fill it up once. I don't know how long it's going to take to go through this. But then when it gets empty, we'll fill it up. But in that time, I can set a timer and have it go off every day, probably around 4 o'clock, and feed those deer. Well, I need to get putting this together. i got to find the instructions first. I haven't seen them yet. They got to be somewhere in there, at least I hope they are. Well, bad news, I cannot find a manual anywhere online on how to put this together. I called Mossy Oak and said, hey, I bought one of your deer feeders. There's no instructions. Where can I find some? Oh, let me transfer you. Then they hung up on me, so I had to call them back, and they transferred me again. Then I had to leave a message, and I haven't heard back from them. So I'm going to look at pictures, and since I know my ABCs, I'm hoping I'll be able to at least start getting this together. So I guess I'm going to look at pictures. I'll probably look on that box, and I'll see if I can't get this put together. Okay, I got the legs on there. My battery died, I didn't catch it. No, you didn't miss anything exciting. A little frustration, but it's like, put in two bolts and a washer and a nut. Tighten it all the way around this thing. Seems pretty sturdy though for what it is. Here's the inside. The corn will go down through that hole right there. Well, can't really see how sturdy it is on concrete once I get it out on the ground though. But this thing is all metal. You can see that it's welded right there. You can actually latch the top on. Hopefully that will keep any raccoons if there's any out here from getting in there because I know they like to eat that corn. Well I got the motor out here for the assembly, the housing for the motor. I just got to get it. I just got to get all the wiring and everything ready for it. I still have to attach these brackets over here on there. There's the brain that turns everything on. You can set the timer. Then it's got, this is the part that I like is the cage. It covers it all up, keeps all the animals from getting up in there because if it's like the one my mother-in-law used to have down in Texas, 
all this is exposed and the deer actually get up here and they start pawing that thing and they actually break the motor. They're fierce. And this one sits a lot lower. As you can see, I mean, my hand's just out in front of me. It's not very tall. Well, I'm going to get this motor put on here and get it hooked up, test it out, and just see how it runs. Be back with you. Got this here. Gonna have to set the clock on this thing, so navigate to clock mode by pressing up down arrows and then press go to enter setting. At this time it is 326, so we're gonna go 326 p.m. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. But let's do test. Come down here, hit test. It's gonna go off in eight seconds. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. Wow, that worked. Feeding one. Let's do one in the afternoon. Let's just say four, four fifteen. I never did get a call back on the installation instructions, so I just followed pictures and followed my ABCs. And then I found someone else that had this set up. He sets his at four seconds. High RPM, yeah. I got two bags of corn over there. The truck's behind that garage door. I think we still got time, so let's get this loaded up in the truck and we'll take it out there in the backyard and set this thing up. I'm gonna try it out right here. I'm not sure if this is gonna be good enough or not. Just see how far it shoots out corn. This will hold 200 pounds of corn. Those are 40 pound bags. I can put about five bags in here. But that's what it looks like now. Got that closed. Get these, let me get these bags feed up. I'll bring the camera out here probably about 10, 12 after four. And see if I can't capture this thing going off. this thing. It's sturdy built. It's good quality. It's a pain in the butt to put together if you're just using a ratchet and a wrench. I used an impact driver with a socket on it. Made it a lot faster. This thing didn't come with instructions so I had to zoom in on pictures, look at the one on this box here, just to see where things went on it. I think I could probably do a better adjustment on that motor for the corn to come out of there. I mean, I haven't actually looked at the video of it. I saw it go off and it threw corn out, but I wasn't really that impressed. Might need to lower it a little bit more. But then again, I don't have any instructions, so I don't know where to set that thing at. 
I just kind of looked at another guy's online where his was set at. But I don't know what that measurement is. I'm just guessing at it. So would I recommend this to people? Heck yeah. If you want a feeder that's lower to the ground, easier to load, you know, load up the corn in there. And this here's the way to go. I am going to have to stake that thing down. It does come with some stakes. Well, that's my review on here. My only complaint is it didn't come with instructions. And I can't find them on the Mossy Oak website. I called Mossy Oak. They transferred my call. And I left a message. That's probably been, I don't know, four or five hours ago maybe. I haven't heard back from them. I'm a little upset on that. This thing would have been a lot faster if I would have just had instructions tell me where this part goes and this part goes. It would have been a lot easier. But I got it together. So if you are looking for a deer feeder, this one here is a good one. A different alternative to the tripod one. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Well, hey, thanks for watching, everybody, and see ya!